Coming to the third problem, the cost of 2 kg of apples and 1 kg of grapes on a day was found to be 160 rupees. After a month, the cost of 4 kg of apples and 2 kg of grapes is 300 rupees. Represent this situation algebraically and geometrically. So let us assume cost of each kg of apple is equal to x rupees and the cost of each kg of grapes is equal to y rupees. Now according to the first condition the cost of 2 kilograms of apple and 1 kilogram of grapes is 160 rupees. So the cost of 2 kg of apples is 2 multiplied by x and the cost of 1 kg of grapes is y. The total cost is 160 rupees. So this becomes 2x plus y is equal to 160. So this is equation number 1. And using the second condition we can write the cost of 4 kg of apples is nothing but 4 times of x. And the cost of 2 kg of grapes is nothing but 2 times of y. So the total cost is equal to 300 rupees. So we can write this as 4x plus 2y is equal to 300. Now we can take 2 as common. So we will be getting 2x plus y is equal to 2 times of 150. So this equation changes as 2x plus y is equal to 150. So this is equation number 2. So equations 1 and 2 represent the algebraic notation of the given conditions. In order to represent these two equations graphically, let us find two of the solutions for each of the equations. So the first equation is 2x plus y is equal to 160. So put x is equal to 50 which implies 2 times of 50 plus y is equal to 160 which is nothing but 100 plus y is equal to 160 that gives y is equal to 160 minus 100 the value of y is 60 so if x is equal to 50 y is equal to 60 now put x is equal to 40 which implies 2 times of 40 plus y is equal to 160 so 80 plus y is equal to 160 so we get y is equal to 160 minus 80 therefore the value of y is equal to 80 so if x is equal to 40 the value of y is 80 now coming to the second equation which is 2x plus y is equal to 150 so take x is equal to 50 that is 2 times of 50 plus y is equal to 150 we get 100 plus y is equal to 150 which is nothing but y is equal to 150 minus 100 so we get the value of y as 50 so if x is equal to 50 the value of y is also 50 now take x is equal to 30 that is 2 times of 30 plus y is equal to 150 so we get 60 plus y is equal to 150 that is nothing but y is equal to 150 minus 60 which is 90 therefore the value of y is equal to 90 so if x is equal to 30 the value of y is 90 so let us table it these values in in a tabular form Now let us write x and y here. So if x is equal to 50, 
we got the value of y as 60 and if x is equal to 40 we got the value of y as 80 for the equation 2x plus y is equal to 160. Now for the equation 2x plus y is equal to 150 if x is taken as 50 the value of y is found to be 50 and if x is taken as 30 the value of y is found to be 90. So let us use these tabular forms in order to plot a graph. Now let us plot these points on the graph. So the first point is 50 comma 60. So this is 50 comma 60. And the second one is 40 comma 80. So this point is 40 comma 80. Now the other one is 50 comma 50. That point is here, which is 50 comma 50. The other one is 30 comma 90. So the 30 comma 90 point is here. So now let us join the points circled in blue in order to get the straight line 2x plus y is equal to 150 and join the point circled in black in order to obtain the straight line 2x plus y is equal to 160. So if we join the points 50 comma 60 and 40 comma 80 we get the straight line 2x plus y is equal to 150 and if we join the points 50 comma 50 and 30 comma 90 we get the point we get the straight line 2x plus y is equal to 150. So this is the graphical representation of the two equations which are 2x plus y is equal to 160 and 2x plus y is equal to 150. So these two straight lines are parallel to each other so they do not intersect at any other point. This is because the coefficients of x and y of the two equations are same hence we can say that the two straight lines are parallel lines.